Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, to no surprise, drought conditions do continue to worsen over uh, western Wisconsin. This morning's latest report now shows this orange color, which is severe drought expanding further northward, now encompassing all of Eau Claire County. Uh, meanwhile, further to the south, uh, down across Vernon County, this dark shade of red, uh, that is the highest drought category, that being the exceptional drought, and that is now really covering all the county there, even into far southern parts of Monroe County. And we even have ext our, uh, extreme drought conditions uh, expanding further north of the I-90 corridor. So that said, let's go ahead and talk about rainfall so far for this month in Eau Claire. It has been sparse to say the least. We've only picked up eight one hundredths of an inch for the month of September. Our normal so far is at 2.48 inches. And as you can see there at the bottom of the gauge, uh, we are running a deficit of nearly two and a half inches of rainfall. And year to date, it is much worse where we're running a deficit of just over six inches of rainfall. We've only picked up 20.16 inches for the year. And our normal right now is at 26.19 inches. I'll get out the screen uh, so you can see that clearly. Now let's go ahead and talk about the weekend because I really hate to say this, it saddens me to say this, uh, but the weather is now trending drier. So you're probably asking what happened? Well, that slow moving storm system uh, to our west is still going to head this way, but now we're going to be dealing with an area of high pressure just northeast of Wisconsin. And basically what's going to happen is that high is going to drag drier air uh, over the state and therefore creating a barrier for any of that rainfall to actually make it into western Wisconsin. So basically it's going to fizzle out as it tries to cross the state line and therefore Minnesota and points west now have the better chances to see some beneficial rainfall. That's not to say that we won't have chances of scattered showers and a few storms here. I still have those in the forecast but they look to be a lot less uh, compared to what just they were uh, 24 hours ago. Temperatures over the weekend going to be running near to above average, especially on Saturday. Highs up around 80, and we are going to have breezy winds as well. Satellite and radar this afternoon showing quite a cluster of showers and even a few storms now entering the Chippewa Valley here. And we are going to see those into this evening before those do fizzle out later tonight. As for temperatures uh, across the upper Midwest, most of us into the 80s, but you can see over across the Dakotas, it is a lot cooler where we've got temperatures from the 60s into the 70s and that's where we have that thicker cloud cover out ahead of our next weather maker and some showers showing up there as well. We have this warm front that's extending uh, across northern parts of Minnesota but locally for tonight again we'll have those chances of some showers and storms through this evening but as we progress through the overnight hours we'll have a mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. And then for tomorrow, I do have a slight chance of a stray shower or storm throughout the day. I do expect partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll have dry weather into the first part of tomorrow night. And then we have increasing chances of rain, a few more thunderstorms. And once again, we do have those chances as we head into Saturday, but not going to pick up too much in the rain gauge. So our high tomorrow does make it up to 79. We're at 80 degrees on Saturday, 72 degrees on Sunday, and it now looks quite pleasant next week. Temperatures into the 70s, quite a bit of sunshine. Yeah, and that's the way it goes, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, we, we get excited about it, and then Mother Nature just pulls the rug out from under us. All right, thanks, Derek. Yep. We've got a preview of the